So I'm back home in London right now. It's the day after the video that you're about to watch. I just realized I forgot to film an introduction to it. So I'm filming the introduction right now. Um, by the time you're watching this video, I'm actually probably gonna be back out in Barcelona. So a bit weird in terms of time frames. but um, here you go. We're gonna start off today's run at La Sagrada Familia. Okay, so here we are outside what has to be Barcelona's most iconic monument, La Sagrada Familia. We are here to start our run for the day. So La Sagrada Familia is a work in progress. I've been building it for 150 years now. Um, I've been coming to Barcelona regularly for about 10 years and I've been seeing them making progress slowly, getting towards the end date. Do you know when the end date is gonna be? I think it's gonna be by the end of the decade. So let's hope for that. Just for a record, it's already 23 degrees here in Barcelona, so it's going to be a hot one. So we're getting ready to start our run. So this part of Barcelona that we're running through right now is all laid out in city blocks, which is going to be a bit of a contrast to other older parts of the city we're going to run through in a bit. This part of the area in Barcelona is called Le Chambre, which means the extension. Yes. And this behind us now is Monumental, which is one of the old bull rings in the city. This is Arco de Triunfo, which was built in 1888 as the gateway to the Universal Exhibition hosted by the city. This is Parque de la Ciudadera with a beautiful cascading fountain. So the fountain isn't fully operational at the moment. I think they turn it on a little bit later in the day. Uh, but I can show you some footage that I shot another day of what it looks like when it's all going. So we're now running through Barceloneta, built in around the 1700s. It is one of the oldest parts of the city, defined by its narrow streets, tall buildings. Um, beautiful place to run. We've made it here to the beautiful beaches of Barcelona. Running on sand is very difficult, as I learned in Malaga, so let's get back onto the path. So we're just taking a quick break here by the harbour to recover because it's Incredibly hot, it's about 25 degrees now, the sun is beating down on us at full strength, no cloud cover, so we're starting to feel the heat. So we're at the bottom of La Rambla now, where it meets the sea just behind me. This is Barcelona's, uh, one of its most iconic streets for shopping, market stalls, little, uh, little shops, the more independent places, but all here on La Rambla. And now we're on our way to where we're going to end today's run, um, Montjuic. We're going to go to a nice place where we can get a vista over the city and we're going to end the run there. And that is it, we are ending the workout with a beautiful view of Barcelona that we're going to show you in a second. There is La Sagrada Familia where we started our run over on the other side of the city. And there is Barcelona to where we ran across to the beach. And then we came back around the harbour and up here to end it. So I think we're both happy now that the run is over after having to run up this hill. The temperature now is 25 degrees so we're starting to feel the heat quite a lot. I've gone very red as I always do after running. Um, 
So I think we're both now in need of finding a place to have breakfast and uh, a nice big drink.